Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rennie. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. We usually go thrifting, but I figured maybe this week we'll do like something different. We'll do like a little vlog. I do have some errands to run. It is Monday and it's around four. So let's go get some groceries. There's a good one next door. Maybe we'll stop in there really quick. Good bro. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay guys, I guess things really aren't gonna be that different since, you know, we're starting off and we are gonna go thrifting. But this weekend I have family pictures with my friends who I love dearly and we're all gonna get dressed with a specific color and our colors are gonna be brown, black and white and Everybody kind of likes plaid. So I don't really have anything to wear or like an idea of what to wear. Actually, I do have an idea of what to wear. I kind of want to wear like a brown plaid skirt. So that's what we're going to look for right now. And hopefully we can find something cute here at this Goodwill. If not, we'll have to go to the mall later this week. Okay, let me grab my stuff. And let's go really quick. Cause I gotta go pick up groceries and then we gotta hit up uh, Sprouts. All right, see you inside. Okay guys, the first stop in this thrift trip is the book section. Um, that looked like a really creepy book, but I had no idea what it was about. Who else had this series growing up? Because I had all of them growing up and I absolutely love to read those. This book caught my attention because I was like, oh, maybe my niece would like this. But then I was worried that this one would be outdated. So I did end up leaving that. And then next we are off to the shoes. These are the only cute pair of shoes that caught my attention, but that heel was busted. So I did end up leaving that. And then I looked at the other aisles and honestly, nothing really caught my attention here. So then I decided let's go look at some clothes. But before I got to the clothes, do you guys see this super cool chair? How vibrant is that? Look how cute this little Squishmallow is. It's a Valentine's Day edition, so I definitely picked that up. And then as I was walking down the row, I saw this Betsy Johnson pajama top, but I did end up leaving it. And then I found another Valentine Squishmallow, so I did take that with me. How cute is this bad boy belt? This is a thrift regret. I wish I would have picked this up. It did have some distressing on it, but now looking back, it's very cute, and I should have picked it up. I walked over to the men's section. This like blazer section caught my attention and I thought they were gonna have some nice items here but everything seemed just a little too worn and just kind of outdated. So I really didn't pick anything up from the men's section which is okay because the lingerie section is right, it's like one row over. It's against the wall and it was kind of missing some stuff, but this like silky robe caught my attention. I loved the little flutter sleeves on this. I did end up leaving it because it was missing the waist belt, but if it was on sit like half off, I definitely would have picked it up. Okay, this maxi slip dress is so cute. I believe this was vintage. I should have picked this up. I love the little bow in the middle, the floral detail. So cute. I thought this was going to be a gold label Victoria's Secret sleep dress, sleep shirt, but it turned out that it wasn't. I am on the hunt for a robe like always. This little tulip printed robe was cute, but it was missing the waist strap. So I did leave that and then I found this beautiful Victoria's Secret like floral print robe. It has these amazing kimono sleeves. It has the waist tie. It is stunning. This is coming home for me specifically. I love this. I cannot wait till it gets a little warm so I can wear this. I love that piece. And as I was walking in the jeans section, I found this faux leather jacket, but 
it just looked a little too plasticky for me so I did end up leaving that honestly this Goodwill there's not really any organization here like everything just kind of thrown in these Calvin Klein pants caught my attention they were new at tag but not my size so I did end up leaving those sometimes this store has good stuff other times it's just a mess <laughs> these pants were cute they were baggy but they were from Sheen so I did end up leaving those and then I told you guys I was on a hunt for something brown. These trousers caught my attention, but they were a size 14, so I did end up leaving those. And then the runs, ones right next to it wore like a, were a skinny version, and I really didn't have any boots that I could think of that would go with it, so I did end up leaving those as well. Honestly, the pants section was just getting a little overwhelming for me because nothing was organized. There was stuff on the ground, hanging over the racks. I was just trying to find stuff that caught my attention just so I could take a quick peek at. Some more tan trousers at the knot make the cut. These floral pants are cute, but they were a little too faded. I'm guessing the same person must have donated all the floral pants that were here because they were all the same size. These are some Zara trous trousers. I did end up picking these up just because I have the navy pair of Zara trousers and I absolutely love those and I really hope that these would be similar so I did end up getting those and they were an orange tag and orange tag today was 50% off so I did end up getting those for like $2.50. These cargo pants were cute but they did have stains on the back so I did end up leaving them. Like, see, there's just hangers on the floor and there's like stuff underneath the rack. Like, I feel really bad for the employees here, but this store usually is not this wild. I don't know why it's so crazy messy today. So I'm just gonna take what I have in my cart so far and uh, let's go pick up some stuff at Sprouts. Goodwill. Um, I got a little bit of footage. There wasn't too much stuff there. I don't even go, like, they didn't even have any skirts to show you guys. There was, like, nothing plaid or brown. And I got, like, a skirt, a maxi skirt, and I got two, um, plush toys. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, it's a few days later, and we're gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna go drop some checks off for my dad at this warehouse place he does business with and then we might go to Ross and look for a rug. What do you guys think of this lip color? I used to wear this all the time. Mm, but you know, I don't really know. I think now looking at it in natural light, I'm just kind of like, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll try a different color next time. But we're off to run errands. Let's go. Okay, we are in TJ Maxx. We went straight to the rug section. This rug is really cute, but I feel like it would be too much blue because I already put a rug in my cart that's blue. Um, here, let me show you really quick. Hello there, Lola. Oh, she was just rolling away. 
Okay, so this is the rug that I put in my cart already. It's the entryway rug that I like. I was also debating on this one, this gray and white one, but I was worried that it would get dirty too fast just because of the light color. And then I did really like this one too, like all the prints, but still, again, I was worried it was going to get too dirty. And then I do need a runner. I did like the print on this one, but I don't like the fabric and I didn't like how thick it was. So that one did end up staying. I like this one because I like, like, I like the blue, but I do also like the little pops of color there were on there. This one, not so crazy about the print, kind of like the color. And then I did find this runner rug. It was mm, not really speaking to me. I wish I could have taken it out of the bag to see it better. Okay, we are back in the car. I dropped off the checks already and I uh, just got out of TJ Maxx with my lovely companion Lola <laughs> she's so cute say hi say hello I'm so cute oh my goodness say hi <laughs> oh such a good baby okay now we're gonna go home and I will show you guys what I got at TJ Maxx because I was just going to go look at the rugs, but then I was walking around and I was like, ooh, look at this, look at that. So I grabbed a little bit more than um, I thought I was going to. So let's go to the house and I will show you guys what I got. And I really want to redo my bookcase, like take all the books out, reorganize everything. We've gotten a lot of books this last year. So let's go and see if we have time to do that as well. All right, see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we are back at my house and this is the bookcase that I want to redo. Sorry, it's not in focus, um, but I do have a lot of stuff over here. Like we have this little thingy over here that you can like hang under, like you hang upside down and like stretches out your back. And then we have a massage chair. It's this right here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to see where it's at. This is the massage chair. And those two things I can't move because I don't have any other space in my house for them. So those are going to stay there. But the book we can move. My uh, Bob Ross Chia Pet Disaster. Um, he's been like this for a while. And his hair, well the seeds, I, I messed up guys. I just didn't water it and he died. Okay, I'm sorry. He died. Oh, sorry, Lola wants me to play. This is one of her favorite toys. It, I don't know where we got this, but it's in my house. So now we play with it all the time. And she goes crazy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, quick haul. Let me show you. I'm sorry, guys. The lighting isn't the greatest. It is raining again. I'm not complaining. I love the rain but I'm just complaining because I can't take Lola on a walk. She's gonna get soaked and it's gonna be a full bath time. All right, let's get into our little TJ Maxx haul. Yeah, okay. I am so excited. Lola is finally potty trained enough to wear. I can have rugs back in the house. I need one for the living room. That one I'm still on the hump for. I've been to like three or four different Rosses. I can't find anything. I've scoured Amazon. Everything, honestly, I don't wanna spend $250 on a rug because I'm still nervous that she's gonna damage it somehow. And can you stop attacking the rug, please? <laughs> so I'm just replacing my other rugs around the house. So this is for the entryway. How cute is this? Yeah, I love this. Okay, and I only pay $24.99. So if it gets ruined, I'm not gonna be so sad about it, you know? And this is nice, honestly, I love these prices because that means that we can interchange things pretty quickly. So I'm okay with that. And I have looked at the thrift store, if you were wondering, a lot of them smell like dog pee. Yeah, we don't want that. I know. I know, it's gross. Oh, I'm talking too much? Okay, you're right. They just smell bad, honestly. And they're 
like really expensive. I saw one for $180 the other day and I was like, you guys are tripping. Okay, this one, I don't know if you guys can see the print. <laughs> yeah. Okay, super cute. I really, really like colors right here. Lola, my love. It says it's a cashmere washable rug. I've never had a brushable, wa 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 washable, <laughs> washable rug before. I've never had a washable rug before, so I will let you guys know how this holds up when I wash it. I'm just worried that it's gonna fall apart in the washing machine, but we'll see. And, oh, I did get other things. Let me show you the other things. Okay, I love the TJ Maxx clearance section because sometimes they do price some things pretty well. Um, I got this adorable little frame and this is for the bookcase. I already have some black frames up there, but they're a little plain. I feel like this one kind of jazzes it up and it was only $3, so solid buy in my opinion. Okay, let's wrap this sucker back up. And then I did get some like beauty stuff. So this year I am going to be frugal as possible. So I went into the beauty aisle and I found this retinol. It says it is like vegan and cruelty free, SLS free, gluten free, non-GMO, natural ingredients, paraben free, and it was $5.99. I am currently using one that I actually got at Marshalls and it has been working really well. I'm happy with how everything has been turning out so far. So I was like, okay, let's try another one. And the ingredients to this one are very sim similar to the, uh, I think I used to get the S.A. Lauder one. And that one is very expensive so I am happy to switch things up a little bit and then I do have large pores so I got this pore minimizing niacinamide <laughs> sorry guys this one and this is $5.99 I know that, um, what is it called? Original Beauty, Original Ordinary Beauty, I think. They make some that are actually really affordable. And that is the next one that I'm gonna try. I've never tried this type of um, like face oil, so we'll see how that goes. And, um, I don't remember what this is and I just got it. Oh, okay, I remember. And then from the clearance section, I got this too. It's sandalwood and amber nourishing hand wash. Um, I just ran out of the hand wash in my bathroom. Ooh, smells like the woods, like a cabin, like we're gonna go camping. I honestly like those types of cam camping smells. I think it's very like, reminds me of very homey, you know? But this one's really good. It was $4.50. I think it was like $5.99 normally. So I mean, not that big of a discount, but still. It's a good size bottle. 16 ounces, solid buy. And then last but not least, okay, I did not get this at TJ Maxx. I did thrift this. I don't remember if I've shown you guys, but let me show you again. It is this bad boy right here. It's a vase. I think this is stunning. Mike wants me to get rid of it. If I can't figure out what to do with this, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. So I would love your guys' opinion. Uh, yeah, you, how do you feel about it, Lola? Weird? Yeah. I would love your guys' opinion. Don't mind, it's just a little dusty. I do have to clean it. I don't know, I wanna put some flowers in it, but that just seems so like and if I do like what color or should I do some of that uh that grass type stuff I forget what it's called I'm sorry guys but please your suggestions would be highly appreciated 
let's do some fun stuff real quick. Let's put in both the rugs and let's see how they look. And it's really dark in my house, so I will try to get the best lighting for you guys, but no promises. Okay, let's set up, um, we should do the runner. Let's go do the runner first. Hopefully it fits in the section that I wanted to fit because I definitely did not measure it. I did, you know, girl measurements. I was like, this looks, this is good. This is good, this'll fit. I was like, yeah, no problem. All right, let's go find out. And this is what it looks like. I think it turned out really nice. Don't mind my uh, plain walls. <laughs> I have to add some stuff over there. Okay, let's go to the entryway one. Okay guys, I just have to put my hair up because I'm um, moving a bunch of stuff, but the sun is leaving, so we have very limited time to put up the rug. I wanna put the rug here or here. Let me uh, bring it and I'll show you. One second, please. I kind of like it like when you walk in, it's like here instead of directly in front of the little thingy little entryway thingy. Then we have like a picture up there too. I don't know if you can tell. Oops. Okay, I flipped you guys around. Hi, Lola. But this is what it looks like when you walk in. I think this is cute. I might just center this out a little bit more. Okay. And this is where it's gonna stay. You like that, Lola? Yeah? I gotta take the tags off. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me know if you guys like it here or if I should move it back over there in front of this little thingy. Oh, that is a thrift haul that is coming soon. And don't mind the engine here that Mike has. Thrift haul coming soon though. Lola, what are you doing? Are you being a cutie pie? Hmm? Are you being a cutie pie? Yeah. Hi, Dola. Do you like the rug? Okay, guys. So, the sun is going away. It's getting darker in my house. So, I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. And we'll do the bookcase. Okay? Bye. Hey, guys. Editing Rennie here. So, we did not get to the bookcase the next day. I did get a little busy. But I do have a thrift with me coming out soon and a haul. So, I really hope you guys are around to see those. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little thrifting vlog that I had going on. And I really appreciate you guys commenting, liking, and subscribing my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.